Breaking news. 4.5 magnitude earthquake strikes Yellowstone one hour after steamboat geyser eruption. Yellowstone National Park one hour after the eruption. Panic and uncertainty grip Yellowstone National Park as a 4.5 magnitude earthquake has struck near the Yellowstone caldera, just one hour after the steamboat geyser erupted with tremendous force. Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park in the past two weeks. The powerful seismic event has sent shockwaves of concern through geologists, park officials, and visitors alike, raising fears about the growing unrest beneath the park's geothermal system. Eyewitness accounts of the geyser eruption. At approximately 10.15 a.m. local time, Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, roared to life with a towering explosion of superheated water and steam, reaching nearly 400 feet into the sky. Park visitors described the event as both awe-inspiring and terrifying, with a deafening roar that could be heard miles away. The eruption lasted nearly 30 minutes, spewing boiling water and thick plumes of steam that blanketed the Norris Geyser Basin in a dense mist. I've seen eruptions here before, but this was something entirely different, said Michael Sanders, a tourist from Denver, Colorado. The sheer force of it was unreal, and the ground beneath us was trembling even before the geyser blew. Sudden earthquake sends shockwaves through the park. Just an hour later, at 11.20 a.m., a 4.5 magnitude earthquake struck within the park. With its epicenter dangerously close to the Yellowstone caldera, a vast volcanic system that has long been monitored for signs of increased activity. Visitors at the Old Faithful and Mammoth Hot Springs areas reported feeling strong tremors, with some describing the ground shaking for nearly 10 seconds. The ground moved so violently that I nearly lost my balance, said Sarah Jenkins, a local tour guide. We thought the geyser's eruption was over, but then the earthquake hit, and suddenly, everyone was running for cover. Park officials immediately closed off sections of the Norris Geyser Basin, citing concerns about potential hydrothermal explosions and ground instability. Emergency response teams were deployed to assess any damage, though no injuries have been reported so far. Geologists concerned about increased activity. Scientists from the United States Geological Survey USGS, are closely monitoring the situation, noting that steamboat geyser eruptions often correlate with heightened seismic activity in the region. While a 4.5 magnitude earthquake is not uncommon, its proximity to the Yellowstone caldera is alarming. This is something we take very seriously, said Dr. Emily Carter, a geophysicist with the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. We are seeing an uptick in seismicity and hydrothermal activity in a very short time frame. It's too early to say if this is leading to something bigger, but we are ramping up our monitoring efforts. Is Yellowstone headed for a major eruption? While there is no immediate indication of a catastrophic volcanic eruption, the combination of the steamboat geyser's powerful eruption and the subsequent earthquake has reignited public fears about the possibility of Yellowstone's supervolcano becoming active. Scientists, however, urge caution against panic. While this is a significant event, Yellowstone experiences thousands of minor earthquakes every year, said Dr. Carter. 
what we are watching for are patterns. If seismic activity continues to rise or if we detect changes in the magma chamber, then we will raise alarms accordingly. Park officials on high alert. In response to the day's events, Yellowstone National Park officials have issued an advisory urging visitors to remain cautious and report any unusual ground activity.